Hi, my name is Hitesh and you are watching Metasploit Extreme on Kali Linux. Below is my web homepage where you can access details about me and of course can leave your feedback to me. Now some of you might be saying, hey Hitesh, you are now testing my patience with so much long video series. But uh, what I expect from you is to wait a similar more time because this series is going to be very very long. And I will make sure that you understand this framework in a much much depth in any case and of course from any other courses that you have found around. So let us carry on and try to understand this framework in more better way how it is being analyzed and it can be used for much more syntax. So the next thing that we are going to focus is on the incognito. Now incognito first of all was as a standalone tool but later on it was being merged with an extension of Metaprinter. And incognito can be used for stealing various tokens from the windows. For, and first of all what is actually a tokens? So consider tokens as a similar thing that can be used on a web application as a sessions or you can say simply the cookies. So in a web application attack when you steal someone's cookies from a logged in account of a Gmail, Yahoo or anything else, what happen actually you can put those cookies in your browser and can uh, take privileges of the logged in account of that victim without actually knowing the password. The same thing happens in the Windows session also since there is no hash and anything. If you can, if you are able to steal those tokens actually you can get the privileges equally of that particular user. So of course you should be aware about the what types of tokens and the more actually you will understand the system the more you will be able to hack into that system. So that's only the focus out here. And of course the tokens are the of mainly of two types. Other tokens are also here, but mainly we are focusing on the two types that is a delegate token and the impersonate token. The delegate token is very simple, it's on the logged in screen such as uh, uh, you are once logged in after entering your password on your logged off account. Uh, there actually the delegate tokens works and impersonate tokens actually work on a logged off screen and you can grab the passwords and many things from it. So without actually wasting much more time, let's jump into directly into the, our Kali Linux and can find out what this incognito is about and what it is actually capable of. So I'm running a Windows XP Service Pack 2 here that is having an IP of 192.168.52.167. And on the other hand, I'm again having my Kali Linux with a nice uh, banner out here. And also let us try to search for our very good vulnerability that is NetAPI. And since we are connected to the database, that means we will have a very fast result. And let me use this great exploit that is in the exploit directory, Windows, SMB, and MS08067 net API. Always there is a simple way to use any exploit. Just hit the show, show options command and set the field that are required. So set remote host IP. So it is 152.167. Again, I have to use a payload as well. So I'll set a payload as well. That will be of Windows. Metaprinter. And it will give me a reverse TCP connection. And since it will give me a reverse TCP connection, I have to set my L host value as well. You can also check it by running the show options command. So 192.168.52. Uh, let me check my IP address. You can simply also check it by using the ifconfig command. And what I recommend always is before running the exploit actually make sure that the uh, machine is actually in your range. So give it a ping to it. 192.168.52. One six seven. So make sure the ping is replying. In our case, it is. So my IP is one five nine. Set everything, and finally, I always recommend to check everything. It's working. Everything is set, and then your magical command that says exploit. So it's targeting, and hopefully, I'll get a session. And yes, I have got one. So simply what you can do, you can simply load up the extension that says, I can hit the tab key twice actually to get all the things. So I can load the incognito first of all and can hit a help command. 
it will show me all the options about the incognito here they are so what type of things you want first of all I want to list all the tokens but the list only tokens will not give me the result I have to specify I want a group token or user token and it has asked me the same so I'll give a hyphen u options out hyphen u option here and I have got the number of tokens here so I can also use one more command let me show you that as well here it is that says impersonate token so you can also impersonate the token and can get the lot more privileges as compared to previous so let me impersonate token and as always with my laziness I'll copy paste everything so here is also one more interesting thing whenever you copy paste or use those tokens the interesting thing that you should note that if you'll run just like this it is not going to work so make sure you have got a double slash here because one slash is automatically being cancelled out so let me hit this and hopefully I'll get a token okay so I have successfully impersonated the token I can immediately get into the uh, shell and now I'm the Windows System 32 and of course I've got a uh, lot more privileges with the user and I can also impersonate in various other accounts and as well so rest is on you to find out and explore a bit more about it so this was all about using the incognito and stealing the sessions or stealing the tokens from the Windows thank you so much for watching and keep enjoying the exploitation stuff